Hi kindergarten, this week in science, we're gonna talk more about plants. One plant that we're gonna to try to grow is a sunflower. This week, you're gonna see Mrs. Cloud keep a planted pot with soil, and we're gonna uh, watch how those seeds grow and change over time. So today, I wanted to take a little bit of time with you to discuss the plant parts of the sunflower and an easy, simple craft you could make at home. What Mrs. Cloud did for this craft, I had to use a coffee filter, which if your parents drink coffee, you can just ask if you could have one. And I just lightly colored the inner circle brown and I made these petals here yellow, okay? I also put something inside and then I drew some stringy lines down here and I added some other parts, which I don't wanna give it away because I wanna talk about the function of each of these parts and go over these words down below, okay? So we're gonna start up here and we're gonna work our way down. These parts are out of order. So as I talk about them, I want you to think about what their function is, what's their job, and how do they help the plant, all right? The leaf, boys and girls, or leaves to flowers or plants, that's what makes the food, okay? They make food for the plant to grow. More than one leaf are leaves, but this word says leaf. This word is seeds, seeds. The seeds of a plant, you know that they are little tiny things that we would plant in soil. And do you know what a seed needs to grow? It needs three main things. It needs air, water, and sun. So rain, boys and girls, in spring, even though when it rains, like today is a little bit off and on the rain, it's sad because, oh, we can't go outside. But like we talked about in our Zoom class, Rain is good for so many different things, especially living things outside, such as plants. So these seeds need water, air, and sun to grow. The roots of a plant, boys and girls, are the anchor for the plant. So they're underneath the soil. They're like these stringy-like things that anchor the plant down, but they also have a special job in that they provide nutrients for the plant. They have to suck up all that water and moisture from the rain, and then those roots carry that water up to another plant part, which is down below here. This is a stem. The stem's job is to hold up the leaves and the flower, and um, they really help support the plant. And the petals, boys and girls, are that flower part, that blossoming part of the plant. All right, so like we talked about, each plant part has a special job or function, and if you wanted to make the simple craft, all you would really need is to ask your parents for a coffee filter. You could just cut out some black little tiny bit, bits out of paper here. I need green uh, construction paper for these two parts. And then I just drew little squiggly lines down here, all right? Another thing you could do if you don't have accessibility to you know, glue or scissors and stuff, I have a sunflower diagram which I can print out and your parents can simply just do this with you as well. And then each plant part you would have to put in the right place. So you can do it this way by making a fun craft or you can print this out or draw this in a special notebook and just try to label this yourself using all of these words. All right, so let's see guys, where do you think the leaf is? If you're looking at this picture of my sunflower, where is the leaf? Only one leaf. Let's look. Are the, is this the leaf? Mm -mm. No, this wouldn't be a leaf. Up, oh, either of these green shapes are the leaf, right? More than one leaf are leaves. So this plant has two leaves, but I'm gonna label it here, and I'm gonna say this is the leaf. Okay, so now let's try to go to the next word. This word is seeds, seeds. So I'm gonna try to let you guys, now this is a tricky one, because when we plant the seeds, you remember what we talked about? that the seed in order to grow needs air, water, and sun. But where are the seeds in this picture? They, they are needing to be planted underground in order for this plant to grow, but where are the seeds? They're in the middle, right? They're inside the flower. And boys and girls, the seeds have a special job because when they get blown away from the air or from the rain or when they fall off of the sunflower, those seeds make new flowers, okay? So that's their function. And if you're just starting to make a sunflower and you want to grow it, you are going to need seeds to be planted in the soil, okay, in order to watch it grow.
The next word we have, roots, roots. Where are the roots to the sunflower? Remember what I uh, said to describe them? They're like those long stringy like things under the soil. Awesome. So look, they're like kind of like wavy little strings. What I could do if I wanted to add more detail to this picture, I could even draw the grass and make sure that this part is under the grass because the roots are under the ground, right? They're in that soil. And remember, we talked about how the root job are to anchor the plant and they also suck up all those nutrients and help carry that water throughout the plant. So these are the roots. Pushing rather softly here so this doesn't fall. Let's go to, we have a couple more, the petals. The petals, which, oh, here they go, it's being covered up here. Petals, more than one petal this flower has. What color are the petals to my sunflower? Mine are yellow. Sunflowers can also be orange, right, or reddish color, but these petals in my picture are yellow, yellow. So here are the petals. And the last plant part that we're gonna to try to find is the stem. Remember, we only have one stem, no S at the end here, just a stem, just one. Where is that one stem to the plant, my sunflower? Very good, this is the stem. Remember, their job is the roots are carrying up that water and those nutrients, and then the, the stem is continu continuing to suck up that water, carrying it throughout the plant to help it grow and it supports the leaves and the flowers. So here we go, we're gonna label this. On this side, this is the stem. Boys and girls, great job today helping me label the parts of the plant. I will be showing your parents a special video of how I plant my sunflower seeds. And remember, the best place to plant your seeds if you're planting them inside, make sure you pick a sunny spot for them and make sure you're watering them and checking that that soil does not stay dry because in order for your seed to become a flower, it needs water, air, and sun. Thanks guys, bye.